We're making Dr. Itan spicy Korean chicken stew. You need some sugar. That's a lot, huh? Just trust the process. Goju Garu, which is Korean pepper flakes. I like to get this brand and I like the one that says coarse. This is the Wang Korean brand. Korea brand. Goju Jang, which is Korean pepper paste. I don't have a specific brand that I like, but keep in mind there are different spice levels. So this one is level two. I think it goes all the way up to level five. Oh, I wonder if this has red 40. I can't read the ingredients. It's in Korean. Low sodium soy sauce and some minced garlic. I'm gonna mix this up. Onion, mix this up. It's gonna look something like this. Andy bought him a drum. Next, we need to cut some slits into our chicken! Ah! Oh, Kim, you got that. I'm gonna have you. What are you gonna do if you only have one hand? Yeah. You're gonna be like Captain Hook? Okay, give me your hand. No. Okay, that's what I thought. We're gonna add our chicken into our sauce. We're gonna combine this. Gonna look something like this. This pot is not dirty, it's just stained by your teeth. Transfer your chicken into here. I touched it! Yeah. Me and raw chicken? I could do raw beef, raw pork, but chicken? I can't. Add some chicken stock to this. We're gonna turn the heat on and bring this to a boil. This is coming to a boil. I'm gonna reduce my heat and cook this for 20 minutes covered. While our chicken is cooking, we're gonna prepare our veggies. We got some carrots, potatoes. I'm gonna soak them in water so they don't brown. And some jalapenos or serranos if you want it to burn your booty hole. I think my husband wants his to stay intact. After 20 minutes of simmering, this is what our chicken's gonna look like. We're gonna add our carrots and cook this for five to 10 minutes. Let's make sure our carrots are submerged. That's good enough, and we're gonna cover and cook this for five to ten minutes. I already said that. After five ten minutes of adding your carrots in, we're gonna add your potatoes. Make sure the potatoes are submerged. Then we're gonna add our jalapenos, jalapenos, jalapeno, and I'm gonna cover this and leave this to simmer for another five to ten minutes, or until the carrots and potatoes are fork tender. Don't forget to occasionally baste your chicken. <laughs> After another 5-10 minutes of adding your potatoes, all your veggies in, we're going to check to see if our carrots can be pierced with a chopstick. That's good. Budget time. Budget, budget, budget. Drizzle this with some sesame oil. Top this off with some scallion and you're done.